Mr. Money in the Bank. The following contest is a championship first round match. And from Osaka, Japan, weighing in at 640 pounds, he is Mr. Money in the Bank and one half of the professional rated R television dangerous demon Violet Jack. Byron, tell me, how do you think the champ looks heading into this one? I'm impressed, Michael. Sometimes you see a champion look a little less motivated when the title is not on the line. But that's clearly not the case here tonight. From parts unknown, weighing in at 469 pounds, he is Mr. Money in the Bank and one half of the Rated R Alliance, B-O-W. Look at the champ's face, guys. I don't remember the last time I saw him focused like this. And don't forget, this is a non-title match, so the fact that he's this focused right now really tells me something about his mindset. From Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 130 pounds, one half of the world champions, the Mantis. Byron, do you think the motivation is an issue for the champ seeing as the title is not on the line in this one? Not at all, Michael. In fact, given that the title is not up for grabs, I suspect the champ is more motivated to try new things here. Washington, D.C., weighing in at 220 pounds, one half of the champions, Albert Whiskers. Hey, Corey, what do you think the champ's game plan is for this one? He's going to be looking to end this one as fast as he can, Cole. The longer this match goes, the more chance of injury. And the last thing he wants to do is relinquish his championship due to an injury he sustained in a non-title match. And here we go, this tag team match is going to be heated, to say the least. And I can't help but wonder how the champ's game plan differs, if at all, knowing that the title is not on the line here tonight. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Is he done? Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Tag made. 
What's in store here? Drop toe hold. Oh, and it's Zaguri. Oh, what impact. He looks a bit off his game oh, here. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. Thunderous slam. times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Boom, what impact! I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premiere. Going for it all here. That'll hinder your modeling career. This might be the opportunity he needed. Absolutely punishing. He goes for the cover. No, kicks out in time. Clearly not enough damage done. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Ooh. And Logan hung up by the set. Get in there, ref. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finish. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. He's looking a little off balance. He needs to find a way to get on the offensive, guys. He's not looking good, and at this point, he has no option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. Well, he's certainly looking a little worse for wear, but that doesn't mean you should count him out just yet. I'm sure there's plenty of fight still left in him. Here he goes. One of superstars in a tag team match and hellacious power slam. Nobody does it quite like him. What a slam, Michael. His shoulders are down. And he's able to get the shoulder up. Wow. Tagged in. Corey, you touched on this before, part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got a tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have. Maybe the dip... He's looking at it. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. Wicked clothesline! Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's yes. tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalia and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's court and Tamina was in Natalia and Carmella's court. Talk about having a living hell beat out of you. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this tag team match. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. 
That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kick return the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. Oh, oh he's able to reverse it. Oh boy, he is rolling. Just carrying the opposition here. But you can't carry your opponent all day. You gotta make a move eventually. Oh, nasty impact. What a strike. Not so fast. Nailed it. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless Looking at it here. You gotta believe this one's over. But can he follow up here? A takedown of colossal proportions right there. He's got him covered. One. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Boom. <laughs> In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, he might have it. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. He's looking at it. Uh-oh, he's still fighting. Look, first impact. Victory is on the horizon. He's a one-man wrecking crew. Oh, boy, he is rolling. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro, he might have it. Ooh, that'll mess up your shoulder. That has got to be it. You're going to want to see. He's got the shoulders down. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. What a strike. Right on the mark. This could be dangerous. Watch out here. Driver! Submission time! Is he done? No, it's not over yet. Wow, part of me thought he would... Wow, I thought he was a guard. The longer this fight goes on, the more wear and tear on each competitor. Who is going to have enough to pick up the win? What a stomp! Good grief! Gets the tag. Gets out of the way of that one. Comes in off the tag. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Here he goes. Beautiful technique. This one's over, guys. In off the tag. Oh, perfect kick. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. What a really great swinging neck breaker. Oh boy, he is rolling. Uh-oh. Isn't gonna be pretty. The suplex. Tag in. Nailed it. He's not going to like this. Wait for it! Oh, an impactful slam! That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Two. Flying forearm, barely at two and a half. 
I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. 